So, hi guys. This is a very different way to start a YouTube video, but I'm really excited because today we are heading, this is not the usual uh, place where I start my videos, but today we are heading to Saudi Arabia to ride some incredible Arabian horses in the desert. Now, horses for my work, pleasure, uh, have taken me all over the world. I'm constantly amazed at the places I find myself because of horses. Um, never would I have guessed Saudi Arabia, uh, but I got an exciting job offer and I'm being flown out to attend uh, an incredible polo match that's happening in the desert, the Richard Mill um, polo tournament. So it's gonna be a really, really exciting couple of days. We've got the event lined up. We've got an Arabian horse ride through the desert. I am having my brother flown out as well, so he's going to be there to help me catch some content. Um, there's a couple other people going on this trip that I know. Uh, we've got a lot of sightseeing to do, and also the hotel that they've shown me is incredible. This is like a five-star trip, no expense spared experience. So it's naturally, I want to bring you guys uh, with me. but. The highlight for me is I'm so excited to ride some Arabian horses in the desert. It's going to be so cool. So I'm currently on my flight from uh, Amsterdam to Doha. And then from Doha, I'm going to Medina. And then from Medina, we're driving to the desert, which I, I think it's quite a drive. I think it's like three and a half, four hour drive. <laughs> so there's going to be a driver picking me up at the airport and we go straight from there. Um, we're nearly about to land in Doha. So the biggest kind of leg of the journey is over, at least the flight portion. Uh, and I can't wait. It's winter now in Saudi Arabia, so it's not that it's gonna be hugely hot in the desert, but it still gets like 23, 24 degrees, 25 degrees during the day. Obviously then at night, the temperature goes back down to like 10 degrees because it's desert. So the desert always cools off uh, at night, but it should be an amazing, amazing, amazing experience. I'm only sad that yes, it couldn't come, um, but we're gonna have an incredible time either way. So I'm excited to take you guys on this journey. So let's finish off this trip. There's not too much traveling left to go. And before we know it, we're gonna open our eyes and we're gonna be in the beautiful Alula Desert. You look like someone who's looking to either make a website or um, run your website on a better platform, then Squarespace is where you need to be. Squarespace offers hundreds of already made templates where you can go in, uh, pick your favorite one, still customize everything you want. You don't need to have any coding knowledge. It's super user friendly. I run my shop on there. I've been running my website on Squarespace for almost four years now. Um, I truly, truly love the user experience. It's so easy to use on the go as well. You can make quick changes on your phone, whether it's updating stock levels, changing text, or uh, changing the photos as well. If this sounds like what you're looking for, then do use my link, which is www.squarespace.com slash In doing so, you receive 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Okay, so we have arrived. The trip was quite long. It's actually the next day, so uh, my brother is here. He has joined me on this trip to be able to kind of share the experience together, but also help me with uh, generating all of the content. I'm here for a couple of different reasons. I'm here with the Alula Moments. And uh, they're kind of like taking me around. There's an incredible polo match happening, the Richard Mill polo match. Uh, that's like the main event that we're here for, but there's been so many other incredible activities and events that they've organized, such as like orchestras. There was a choir, there was a pianists we've done some sightseeing like some heritage sightseeing around here like 
um, some of really old tombs. Um, and we have, of course, the thing that I'm most excited about is the Arabian horse ride in the desert. And like, that's the thing I really wanna share with you guys. Before we do that, that's happening this afternoon. Before we do that, I wanna take you guys through because it's like, I've never really seen an accommodation like this. Um, it's very, very special. We're staying at the Banyan Tree Resort here in Alula. Uh, and this is the uh, one bedroom pool villa. Uh, it's like a self-contained house, just literally in the middle of the desert. So if you wanna go back to reception, it's 10 minutes on a golf cart. Um, but anyway, let me take you guys through. So we're just gonna go in the room. We will open it just with our key. And then we can come inside. And I just wanna share with you guys just how incredibly beautiful it is in here. Now, when Steve and I opened the door in here, uh, it was just like, I think we were both like speechless. Obviously what hit us first was this incredible view and this outdoor area. You can actually open the windows all the way. So you have this kind of like inside outside space. I have a private pool here, which is heated, which is lovely. Incredible views of um, the desert, the boulders and the mountains. And then just down there, we have the Mariah Theater, which is this whole building made out of mirrors. It looks absolutely incredible. And concert hall. Oh, concert hall. Steve is correct to be a no, concert no. hall. I want to show you guys the outside area a little bit better. So there's a little seating area over here where you can just chill poolside. A couple of um, lounge chairs over there. And then if you come out here, as we head towards the desert, um, there's these two really cute uh, chairs and we actually ordered some wood because tonight we're gonna have a little fire pit under the stars. Um, I just can't really describe to you guys how serene and peaceful it is. It almost looks like we're on some sort of movie set or something. It almost feels fake, the, uh, the surroundings and the, and the scenery here, because it's just so perfect and beautiful. Um, but if we head back, I want to show you guys a little bit more of the interior of the, of the room. It's really, really fun. We have an outdoor shower here. And through this door, you can also connect back into the toilet. But I'll show you guys that from the other side. We have been in the room, so it is a little bit of a slight mess. But huge king size bed. Very comfortable. Beautiful sheets. Um, and then through here is the toilet. This is the actual toilet door. It's not worth seeing. Huge closet, but it's a mess because all my stuff's in there. And then this is the toilet. It's got the most incredible bathtub um, and you can open the door there if you want to have a little bit of a view. And then if you come through here, there's a huge shower. This whole thing uh, is a shower. Um, so yeah, so we're staying very, very comfortably at this hotel. We've been super fortunate. I feel super lucky to be able to experience all of these things because of horses. And obviously because you guys follow my life and, and I get to share it with you guys. Obviously the thing that I'm most excited for is this Arabian desert ride. You guys know, yes and I did um, that incredible uh, two safaris in Africa. This is kind of like giving me that feeling. Uh, so I can't wait to meet the horses. I feel like the horses we have in Europe, generally like the Arabians are much quieter. Like I always see on my Instagram or on TikTok or even on YouTube, like Arabian horses from Saudi Arabia, from the UAE, from those kind of countries that really love them and breed them and have those big shows. They always seem like so fiery and excited and kind of like, dare I say, a little bit out of control. Um, I'm sure that will not be the case with these horses, but I am very curious to see what kind of horses we're gonna be getting. Um, on the ride today, there's going to be uh, some of the other influences that are also here. Uh, so we're going to be going out all together, which should be really fun. I actually already knew a couple from um, just having met them at other shows. Um, uh, one influencer, Anya, I actually know her quite well. She even came and visited us at our old house. Yes, I also knows her. I'm so upset and sad that yes is not here. I think he would have absolutely loved it. Uh, schedule wise, it wasn't gonna really work for him because he's uh, training now for a really, really big show. And uh, this trip is like five days away. And that's just too much when you have to keep your horses trained and, and kind of, you know, in that system. But I've been sending him lots of photos and lots of videos. And I, next time he has to make time to, to come to something like this. Uh, but yeah, with his show schedule, it is always a little bit more uh, more difficult. I know I got a lot of messages on Instagram like, where's Yasser, where's Yasser? 
Yes, it's home. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're gonna be, I think I have enough time to just like have a quick dip in the pool. And then I'm gonna be running to those horses because I am so excited and I can't wait. One thing I did want to mention, because I know I'm going to be getting some comments about it, is I made a kind of like a little mistake, I guess I would say, in my packing. Uh, and that's because I didn't want to have to bring like my own breeches and helmet because I kind of have to dedicate a whole bag to that. I'm always scared that like my helmet's going to get ruined. Um, so I only bought breeches and socks. And I thought because there is a big polo event here, that's like the main reason that we're here is for like the Richard Mill polo event. Um, I was like, I'm sure there's like shopping, equestrian shopping. I'll just buy like jodhpurs, like small boots because I don't own any because I only have top boots. I was like, I'll just buy some here. Um, but they don't have any here. So I'm going to be riding in um, my sneakers. The reason why this is not ideal is you always want to ride with a shoe with a heel. That way your foot can't like slide all the way through the stirrup. I am an experienced rider. We're not going to be doing anything crazy today. It's still not the perfect picture, but it should be safe enough for one time but always bear in mind to wear proper shoes when riding. Just wanted to say that because I know it'll come up in the comments. But okay, I'm really excited. Steve is gonna be taking some videos and kind of shooting some stuff from the ground. So you guys are gonna be able to follow us like that. I'm gonna be doing some POV stuff with my phone. So I'm gonna jump in the pool and I'll be seeing you guys very shortly when we're at the horses. We're off. This is our mode of transport. <laughs> we're getting whipped around for a real one. But the nice thing is, even though there is always like a little bit of a, of a time to go from one place to another, is you have like incredible views on the way. Let me just spin you guys around. Like who would mind having to go around in carts when this is what you get to look at? It's kind of nice because every, like there is quite a few accommodations, but they've made these like big berms with the sand. So every accommodation has so much privacy and you don't feel like you have anyone else next to you. I just wanted to ask you, because I think for me, like I'm in the horse world, so it's a little bit more knowledgeable, but okay, I'm done trying to fix this hair. So you guys are just gonna have to see it like this. Um, what do you think, like, what do you know about Arabian horses? Do you know anything about them or? Um, I have no idea, no. Nothing, not even the way they look. You, have you ever seen horses that have like a really dished in face? And they're like really shiny on the nose and the eyes, yeah. like when they do the shows. So, yeah. Like that's an Arabian horse. And usually they're like shorter and um, a little bit lighter in build. Okay. Um, so yeah. So I guess I guess I'm excited to see. you'll be getting a good understanding very shortly. Right, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Kat. We just got off the golf cart. We've got the lineup of horses. I believe these are all the instructors on board. Um, but there's some really nice horses. Lots of greys I'm seeing. It's giving me PRE vibes in a way. But look at them, look at them all just lined up in this backdrop. They all look very cute actually. They remind me a little bit of Andorra because Andorra is also like an Arabian cross. I think guys, I've already found my favorite. I don't know if we're gonna get to pick. I'm just gonna see what the guys here tell us. But look, this is my favorite one already. Hello! And th isn't this one cute? This one really reminds me of Andorra because she has like a little she has like a little spot here and so does he. I think it's a he. Hey! Looks very cute. I've just been summoned by my brother because there is the most Saudi spectacle happening. It's a great camel crossing. Are they camels or are they, what's the other one? Llamas. No, <laughs> no, not a llama. The one with two humps. Or this is, is a camel with one hump or two? What's the other one? What? I think in Italian it's dromedario or something like that. Yeah. What is that in English? Anyway, I don't know which one this is, but I think it's a camel. Oh my God. I just had a quick chat with one of the guides and he said that I told him, I was like, you know, I, from what I see of Arabian horses, they're always like really hot and really kind of like stressed out and going. And he said, you can get both types, depends how you train them. Some Arabian horses can't even walk because they just want to go. And he's like, but these ones have been trained to be quite quiet because a lot of the guests that come here obviously do not have a lot of experience. But he's like, these horses, you don't need to have a lot of leg. They still go, they have a lot of power. Uh, so he's like, you're going to have a, definitely a fun ride. 
And then I said, well, is there any chance that maybe I could pick a horse or would you like guys to like to like just tell me which one is best suited for me? And he's like, pick whichever one you like. So I ended up picking the one that looks like Annie, uh, which is uh, this one just here that looks very cute. Um, and he's a little bit taller because I'm quite tall. So then I was like, okay, that's probably the nicest before I get put on a horse that's like the little chestnut that looks like a little pony. I think this one will be more appropriate. And they've made arrangements for Steve to be able to drive in a car next to us, which is gonna be so much fun in order to get like some fun content. So I'm looking forward to it. I need to get a helmet though. I don't see anyone wearing a helmet, but I definitely want to wear a helmet, especially when you, I mean, you should always wear a helmet, but especially when you don't know horses, it's not your own and stuff. You should even, you should want to wear a helmet even more. Thank you very much. Well, it's not the one I have at home. Hold on, how do I, I can immediately tell this is gonna have to be lengthened. Okay, let's see. This is not gonna be for a fashion statement, guys. This is just to be for safety reasons. When you don't know horses, you should wear a helmet. And, okay, we're gonna have to, oh, this doesn't really extend much further. I mean, I barely have a chin. Like, it's really flat under here, so how is it not gonna fit me? It's not gonna fit me, some other people are gonna struggle. Do I look like a beginner? Is it giving beginner vibes? Look up. <laughs> can this really not go longer, Steve? Can you can you look? Does this go longer this side? No, that side doesn't. The other one does. Yeah, but this is at its longest. No. Yeah. Okay, I think I've I've slightly loosened it. This is my horse just behind here. I will call him. Him, yeah. Oh, it's a stallion. Oh, I should have asked that. I didn't even know that. They're, are they all stallions? Oh. It's okay if I uh, get on? Okay. The girth is good. Uh, right. I think this is going to be very short, maybe. Or... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's good. Right, whoever was riding before me had uneven stirrups. Yeah, okay. Right, we're on. Gosh, my stirrups are quite short. Hey, you're very cute, you're very sweet. Oh boy. This helmet. And this look without the, the boots is giving second riding less than ever. <laughs> Good boy, you're so sweet. They actually have a winter coat, the horses, even though it's like so warm still here. I mean, at night, the temperature really drops off uh, in the desert here. It's like 10 degrees, but right now it's about 22. Good boy. Let him have his reins. Here's a little POV of the situation. Oh. Huh? Who? Oh yeah, Steve just picked out a horse for someone else to ride. This cute little chestnut there. This one. Um, I am impressed. I think you, you're actually more, much more knowledgeable than you think you are. Hey buddy, you ready for a ride? You're so quiet. So chill. Oh, now he's coming oh. too. Oh, Harrison. Oh, we're getting nice and close. They are very well behaved horses for like all stallions. They're all doing really well. Emporio would have killed all of you already by now. The Spanish horses would never. It would have been the end. Steve is now opening the hood of the car so he can pop himself out of the out of the skylight of the car. Of course. My brother always knows how to like find the difficult way of doing things instead of winding the window down he's disassembling the roof <laughs> right we're off it's beginning and look at the beautiful lighting we're getting treated to oh this way with the rest of the group
my god we've been having some gallops and i'm absolutely out of breath breath can't even talk because once these horses start they don't want to finish so whew, and they can go fast these people my peeries don't go this fast at all yeah that was really good it was really fast i have spanish horses and they don't go this fast <laughs> yeah oh don't know how much we were able to get of that guys it was just like so much going on at once and there isn't like a set path so it's kind of like a, a free-for-all so we did our best but it was it was really fun and i mean okay when you're flat out gall galloping you don't want to do too much either to get the horse too tight just look at this though the sun is just dipping out and this is the kind of display we're getting on the on the mountains it looks so good oh and now back to camp all finished good boy and i was told his name is bahar or something similar or close to that <laughs> All legs are still there. That's good. How was it? It was good. It was different. It's not like a puree. <laughs> it's a bit more choppy, a bit more bouncy. Um, but he was really, he was sweet. He did really good. And he gave me a good gallery. That's for sure. So I didn't really get to chat to you guys uh, really well after yesterday's ride because uh, it was we had a really busy schedule and we didn't have the ride took longer than expected because there was some delays so there wasn't much time uh, after that to be able to give you guys a little bit of like a debrief I hope you guys were able to see enough of the ride we really all tried our best it was a little bit like obviously we're in the middle of the desert and I was in my head I was thinking like oh with these Arabian horses I'm just gonna be able to like ride them one-handed and film with the other like I did in Africa well it was kind of like, how was the experience? So they were like, initially when I first got on mine, Bahar, I think was his name. Uh, when I first got on him, uh, very lazy to the leg. I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to trot. Um, and then once we actually started and went on the ride, he, he woke up. Let me just say that, he definitely woke up. Um, and I was, first we had to like go out to kind of like the open space. Uh, because it was a bit rocky in the beginning and then once we were in the open space they kind of just said as long as you guys kind of head in that direction just have a canter have a gallop just have fun and as soon as i started to trot and canter no control with one hand no control whatsoever um i don't know i think i don't know if it's just arabian in general i mean i'm sure it has to do a bit of training but um once they started going they didn't want to stop uh, so I couldn't really film with one hand, but I was really lucky that uh, we were able to get a car to assist us And my brother was in there. There were some other people in there and they were taking some footage So hopefully you guys got a nice combination from all of that, but I had a great time Definitely don't think the Arabian horse is for me You guys know I love dressage and you know, I like big necks and baroque bodies and all that kind of stuff I would say that the Arabians are a little bit the opposite of that, but I definitely can appreciate the breed I still had a lot of fun it was so scenic and beautiful with like the vistas there with the sun setting and the rocks and everything it, it was a lot of fun and all the dust that was getting kicked up by all the other horses made for this just incredible scene um so yeah so i had really really a great time i thought i would kind of bring you guys before we go i wanted to bring you guys to the event that i'm going to to the actual polo match because i don't think any of you have seen something like this i certainly have not the location uh everything it's just really spectacular so i want to bring you guys while i'm there for a couple of hours and show you kind of like the highlights of it um so you guys get to see that a little bit as well look at this setting obviously the weather here is amazing so we can afford to have this like beautiful outdoor setting here's my brother getting some shots Wow. And the team has just finished. Penalty two, that is the call. Thank you very much. This is actually a sand polo, which is played on a much smaller field. You can kind of see that through here. Like usually like grass polo is uh, quite a lot bigger. Um, there's also only three team members on each side rather than four. Um, and they're playing four shucks, which is like four five minute time pieces rather than six shucks. And I think usually it's seven minutes i don't know polo is quite complicated but it's been pretty fun viewing so far um they're just uh doing 
Uh, they're just onto their last shock now. I don't know if I'm even saying that right, but they're just on their last one now. Um, and it shouldn't be too long until the game resumes. And this is the last, or oh, penultimate. I think, oh no, it's the last one. It's, it's the last one. So this will be the kind of like match decider for this team. Now, during the day, there's quite a lot of uh, different polo matches. We're nearing the end now of the of the show. So this is like the, the final one, the big one. And we are back to gloomy, rainy, wintry Netherlands. No sign of a view of a desert in sight. To be honest, not even a warm toned color insight um i had such an incredible time now i just want to say like i know this vlog was a little bit all over the place i uh, i was there to create a lot of like content not really for youtube youtube is something i was really trying to do extra so we really did our best to try and put something together um but it was a bit all over the place but what a once in a lifetime experience i'm so grateful to have been able to share it also with my brother we had honestly like the best time there together um amazing amazing moment galloping through the uh, saudi arabian desert i don't think that's something i could have ever even dreamt of doing uh so let alone like doing it for work it's like such a dream come true i had an incredible time it was very eye-opening i think and i want to be delicate about this because i'm not like super informed about everything i think you know, there can be a lot of misconceptions about a lot of different countries. Um, certainly, I've visited uh, quite a few now. I have to say the people were super welcoming. Everyone was very respectful. I was there with a lot of um, uh, men and women. Everybody was treated exactly the same. Um, I understand, you know, a lot of countries have histories and certain countries have different customs, religions. I think most of the time, if you go in with a respectful mindset and you understand you're going into a different culture, whether you agree with certain principles or not, but if you choose to like engage and, and go to a place like that, as long as you remain respectful uh, and understanding to uh, the situation and where you are, you won't have any issues. We were we we had the most incredible time. Um, so yeah, that's just a little bit of, of my experience, at least. I'm not saying that's going to be the experience for everybody, but that was certainly my experience. Um, but okay, this vlog was a little bit all over the place. I hope you guys enjoyed, nevertheless. Uh, I loved sharing it with you guys. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think uh, of Arabian horses in general. Maybe you guys have some experience with them. But for now, that is everything. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.